All right, let's call the uh, Park Board meeting of Tuesday, March 12th to order. And we'll start with the consideration of the Park Board minutes from our February 5th meeting. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. A second. And a second. Any discussion? Changes? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes are passed. Uh, item three is request to use Picnic Point in Lakefront Park for the Great River Rumble event on August 1st of this year. Mr. P. Kuhn is here. If you'd like to come up to the microphone and tell us about your event and um, what you would like uh, from us today. Um, <clears throat> hello, my name's Pete Kuhn, and uh, I've been designated the landing chair for uh, hopefully the city of uh, Hudson, Wisconsin, where we'd like to uh, land for a night and uh, camp and uh, enjoy your city for the evening of August 1st and the early part of the morning of August 2nd. Um, our group is, it's a once a year trip, uh, canoe and kayak, all paddle boat or uh, paddle craft, uh, except for usually three to four power boats which are along the edges of the flotilla for safety purposes and so on. Um, and uh, this year we're doing part of the St. Croix River and finishing up on the Mississippi. And this will be our fourth day, I believe, or fifth, yeah, fourth day, Thursday night stop. And what I would like to do is uh, get an okay to uh, use the camping area uh, in the, uh, what is it, the park point or? Yes, yeah, South Lakefront, we call it Picnic Point. Okay, Picnic Point. <laughs> and a little bit north of the uh, Hudson Boat Launch uh, for some overflow camping if needed. And uh, I believe Deb already had a map out, but I've also got another yeah, map. Yeah, and I'm sorry I didn't include that. It was kind of our map that we used Okay, I can, I can just give this map. Okay. Pass that around. Thank you. It'd be in the same areas uh, that were used previously by uh, a group, I guess, that came through a couple of years ago. Um, our group is a nonprofit organization, and uh, what we'd like to do is, uh, since the downtown area is very close to where we would like to camp and set up, uh, would be using all the local uh, restaurants and establishments for dinner that night. And in the morning, uh, we usually do breakfasts, try to have those going by 6.30 because we like to try to be onto the water. Uh, as you've seen on the flyer, our next day uh, coming uh, from Stillwater, that'll be our shortest day on the trip of about seven miles, but the next day will be around 18 miles. Mm. Uh, so it's you know, an older group. I guess the average age is right around 50 years old. Uh, I've been paddling with this group for, this will be my 16th year now, I believe. Uh, I'm also an ACA Level 4 Certified Instructor, uh, Wilderness First Responder, and uh, part-time guide in the Apostle Islands, so I take uh, care of some of the first aid uh, items that come up. We usually have several uh, wilderness first aid responders and uh, try to make sure everything runs smoothly. Great. Well, it sounds like an, a great event. Is there uh, any questions for Pete? No, it sounds like a great event. How, how many people or boats do you, and I know the registration still has to happen, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we Just a ballpark. Ballpark, I'm going to say anywhere from 100 to 130 people. And uh, about three to four power boats and maybe eight vehicles. Because what we'll do is uh, we leave, or we, uh, the starting Saturday, we meet at the finish, which I believe is, uh, I'm sorry, what is that again? Uh, 
Red Wing. Red Wing. Red Wing. Mm -hmm. uh, so the cars will be parked in a secure area there. Uh, Current Designs is one of our sponsors, and they help shuttle all the boats to the beginning. And then we usually get a couple of uh, passenger buses to get everyone up to the start. So we will also have one medium size uh, rider or U-Haul truck that'll haul everybody's gear. And uh, we'll have a small crew of about eight to 10 uh, cars slash trucks, probably with two small uh, kayak or canoe trailers. So we shouldn't be using up a whole lot of parking area. Are there any uh, costs or permit fees that are needed for uh, Pete's no. group? No. So it was two years ago you guys used the park? That was no, a that, that was another group that used it. Oh, that. another group, okay. Do you feel that, you know, we do have a restroom down there that generally we lock at night? I suppose we could leave that open for the evening? Well, you can leave that locked uh, because what we take care of, here's some of the things that I am required uh, by our group and everyone else uh, that does a uh, landing is we notify the police department, the sheriff, uh, hospitals just in case. Uh, we come to the city council, let them know. Um, for the meals and so on, I'll probably make a couple of visits to some of the local establishments and saying we're going to be here on a Thursday night. I, uh, Possibly you may want to have an extra waiter or cook on hand if uh, they're going to offer any type of special deal. Uh, the breakfast, I'll be checking with either the fire department, Lions Clubs, Boy Scout, Girl Scouts to find someone who would like to put on the breakfast and uh, they will get all the proceeds, uh, whatever they charge. Uh, they'll get all the money. We don't keep any of that. And we also, so that we don't overuse any local facilities, uh, we will have six porta pots brought in, uh, hopefully by noon on the day that we should arrive, and they should be picked <coughs> up at, on noon on the day that we leave. Sounds really well organized. Well, yeah, it's, it, it's sound, it sounds to me like a group that is enjoying the river, doesn't want to be a burden right. any more than they have to be. So I think it's... Sounds like a great thing. Well, do we have a motion on the floor? I'll move to approve. I'll second that. And then we have a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Recommendation is to, uh, to approve the event. So okay. thank you very much for thank coming you. today. We'll go to have safety. Fun. You go to safety. Uh, I believe I'm supposed to go to a safety meeting on Thursday, Thursday. at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. okay. So Excellent. they'll approve it for the so. security part. All right, thank you. Moving on to item four and item five are, are related. Item four is to review the cost to re relocate the picnic shelter from the Tourist Information Center to Prospect, Prospect Park. And item five is review the cost to relocate the storage shed from the old Tourist Information Center site to Grandview Park. So Tom, do you wanna um, take those two items there? Just a little update on that. Uh, the photos the, that you have in front kind of are the proposed areas that we're considering for both um, the uh, picnic shelter. Uh, we propose to have it up at the start of the trail system at Prospect Park. Um, Is it, isn't there like a slab where that's sort of located? There was an there old, now? an old, um, Sport type corner. of a screen shelter up there yeah, that has been uh, taken down. I think there's still some of the uh, cement slab up there. So okay, close to that area. Okay. Um, the owner of the um, the per uh, that purchased the uh, tourist information area as part of the excavating said that they would actually move the um, shelter for at no cost to the city. So uh, getting it from the Tourist Information Center to Prospect Park will not cost us anything, or will the shelter cost us anything? Good. Uh, once it's there, we'll have to, uh, I think we can do it in-house, is uh, install the structure and pour a slab around it like we did out at uh, the Meadows Park. 
Mm -hmm. um, actually, Gary Zappa did that. I've spoken with him and kind of got the lowdown how he did that. So that's something we would do in house. Uh, I would imagine, you know, we may have a thousand dollars in concrete, or you know, and then plus the labor. So a very inexpensive uh, shelter, and I think it's a well constructed shelter. So mm -hmm. I think the price is really uh, right and. Um, Maybe, I mean, I don't know if you want to discuss other possible locations. That's something we had just talked about earlier, but maybe there's uh, some other areas that you feel would be a better <coughs> spot for that. Um, I, I feel that you know the parks as well as anyone. It's just kind of a good spot there. I think we need a little uh, structure. It'd be nice to have a structure there um, right at the start of the trailhead. I mean, we worked hard on the trails. Now it'd be nice to have some... Uh, mm -hmm. informational signs right there and when the people could kind of start and stop there so well it's nice about that spot too is there's a couple of picnic tables kind of around there and, and it'd be uh, nice to have a spot where they'll have a little shelter up on that part of the mm -hmm. there's park. a grill right so, up there right. currently we have a grill so okay. the other thing is uh, in the open field there to on the bottom part of um, that area that's where they um, in the summertime they play t-ball and mm -hmm. Baseball, so it'd be a place for some people to have a little picnic sure. afterwards mm -hmm. or something. That's so. a good spot. So, do, do we need to make a motion to allocate the funds, or is that just something you can do to internally? Determine, more to determine the funding source. Or maybe we can bring that to finance and, and talk to the finance and see where we can, if we it it have to take it out of budget or if we can get it out of some capital monies. Yeah. Um, I think we could just you know send a motion to send it to finance, and you know we could discuss the uh, uh, funding source at that time. Okay. Is there a motion to do so? Sure, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the moving of that shelter. I'll second it. Any further discussion? Uh, hearing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Went on to number five, which was the storage shed, which was going to go to Grandview Park. Um, Grandview Park, um, I think, is a good spot for this shed. Uh, it's 18 by 24, roughly. I, I had it measured once, and I, uh, I think that's what it is. Um, the cost for moving that, uh, the owner of the Tourist Information Center, uh, has already talked to one of his um, contacts that actually does a lot of moving sample out of Minneapolis. I don't know if you've ever heard of no. yeah. And actually has a, a price of $1,600 um, to move it. We can, we can check ourselves or go out for bid if we'd like. Um, but he said he had a firm price of $1,600 from him. So that would be the highest price we would have unless we find something cheaper. Um, and that's to move it from the tourist information to the proposed site. Um, uh, we do use some of this area for some t-ball games in the summer. You can see on uh, mm -hmm. the one spot there, we keep some uh, infield uh, dirt there for storage that we use when we have it. So really it's an area that we don't use a lot other than a few t-ball games in the summer. Uh, I did check with Tim Crusoe, the water um, director, and uh, he didn't have any issue uh, <coughs> in that area. Actually, where that line of trees are, um, anything to the right side of that would be parkland, and, and on the other side where the water tower is, is the water department. So um, there's kind of a driveway there that would work really good. Um, would Tim ever take it on his side? I'm just thinking if you put it at the south end of that driveway, that's something we could negotiate and see if he would. And then that, that parcel of land is already used by the water tower. So, mm -hmm. you know, the other one maybe doesn't have a lot of t-ball games. Yeah. But if it has even one, that's more than the other side of the trees. Plus, uh, that's a nice spot for future parking. Right. Maybe. Why move it twice? Yeah. yeah. I agree with Kurt. If we can... Yeah, if we take this, this corner parcel, mm -hmm. yeah. that kind of eats it up for future parking, like Paul said. And the driveway's already on the west side of the trees. Right. It would be a natural fit, it almost seems. I can certainly check with him and, and uh, bring it back to the next meeting and see if we can have it, um, uh, see if they would approve it on their side. 
What is the developer's timeline? I, I thought I've heard kind of a crunch on that. He said that as soon as we could get the slab um, ready, he would like to move it out of there as soon as possible. Well, I, I guess I, I don't want to hold, hold down the timeline, but maybe we could recommend that we go ahead with this, but we'd like to see it see a negotiation or a contact with the water department sure. to see I, if I would can, I, I think regardless yeah. yes yeah. just it's gonna get recommend I mean we have right. to vote obviously but I I'd personally be for it either way I would just rather see it on the west side of those trees sure. yeah Tom what would you all be storing up there well first off um, we have to bring uh you know the four-wheeler and the drag the drag stays up there but the four-wheeler every day you know and we i would say that that would be the biggest thing is just some of the equipment that we use for the field maintenance okay. um at this time uh, we always need storage so um okay. it'll get filled up pretty fast uh, other costs would be the cost for moving it of course um and then we'd have to pour a, a you know a concrete slab. So you're probably looking at maybe about three thousand dollars total. I would say yes. And that's do you have any issues with security once it's up there, Tom? Is a pretty secure building, or it has a service door. It's just like a garage. It has a service okay. door and a garage door. Okay. Uh, you know there are lights in the parking lot. You know there's lights in the area of the water tower. Um, I guess it would be as secure as anything, you know. What's what's a new building like that worth? Any idea? Five six thousand dollars, I would okay. would imagine. Right. But then you'd have the slab on that too. Sure. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I know you've talked about getting more storage up there, so this is kind of a godsend the way it sounds. So that's good. It is. Is there a motion to move us forward with the uh, direction to negotiate? or to try and get permission to put it on the other side of the trees. Do you want to go with the, num the, the pro moving provider that's been discussed, or do you want, do we want? I can certainly check into that, you know, and see if we can, you know, I can contact some other movers. Uh, I just know that uh, this is the one that he used, and he said he does a lot of this, and he said this is the best and the cheapest. So, But Good. I'll be glad to try to um, get some other quotes. Well, how about a mo I'll make a motion to approve uh, accepting the building with the location to be determined, whether it's on the east or west side of the trees tree line. How's, is that reasonable? And maybe want to cap the uh, cost. I'll cap it at three thousand. That's probably a high estimate, but it shouldn't be over that. Okay. I'll second that. And there's a second. Is there further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Recommendation to finance passes. So, okay, moving on to uh, item uh, six, seven, eight, and nine, we're stricken from the agenda. So, item 10 is review the five year park capital projects. Tom, is there some comments you want to start off, start we, off with? We on were that? asked um, to develop a five year plan. Uh, for public works and for parks. These are just suggestions or requests uh, based on some of the needs and uh, items that we have talked about in the past. You look underneath uh, thir for 2013, and again, let me emphasize that these are just uh, requests and have not been approved. Uh, so I haven't heard, they haven't made any decisions for 2013. Uh, Grandview Park has several things, uh, infill improvements, the storage shed I had down at 10 at that time, but uh, that that'll be, can be reduced to three. Uh, mill and overlay of the parking lot is in need of um, repair. It's getting uh, in bad shape. Um, trail improvements. Uh, Burton Field, we moved down to Burton Field where the, the, some big numbers are. Uh, we'd like to still get the site grading and finalized and uh, that taken care of if we could and possibly start um, phase two. That's going to be a hurdle. 
Move in on the Prospect Park. We have some money, you know, requested for the roof roof repairs for the big pavilion. Some more um, trail improvements, and that trail improvement is uh, the walking trail. Uh, we uh, did some repairs a couple two years ago. We put um, some gravel around it, and it was just dirt and grass. Uh, it would be nice possibly to get an asphalt trail on there, a little more permanent. And then also we have a lot of issues from the restroom in the lower parking lot up to the pavilion, the main pavilion. Currently we have gravel and some infield dirt and every time it rains it washes down. Uh, and it's hard for people that have wheelchairs or you know, mm -hmm. disabilities to get up to there. So we would like to possibly get some trail improvements. Uh, that's what we talk about there. <coughs> Lakefront Park, uh, Dyke Road is in need of some rip wrapping, especially in the area of the courtesy docks. Uh, we should probably look at uh, Walnut Street Bridge inspection. Um, shade structures, at the time there was five other uh, shelters up at the Tourist Information Center we were considering moving, uh, those are not able to be removed. So I would scratch that from that line item. Uh, precast boat launch. Uh, I'd like to get one more piece of uh, precast um, concrete for that. We still keep have people backing their boats down the uh, power launch or power load. Uh, they have big ruts. We have to go in a couple times a year and bring the dirt back because of the big ruts and then People damage their boats and trailers, so uh, that's what, what that is for. Uh, moving down to Lake Malaloo, Corky's Pier is another concrete slab, same issue down there. And Anderson Parks, we need some backboards for that. So that would be the, our request for 2013, and just uh, maybe the, you know, the park board has more ideas. Um, other than these, I think it was things that we should be looking at. So, did you talk to the DNR and the Army Corps when you had your meeting about the dike road riprap? Mm -hmm. And if they're going to help out or to give, say it's no big deal, go ahead. But uh, we're not gonna pay for it, or what would they say? They said whatever we do, we have to go, you know, and get a permit. But if it's easier to get a maintenance permit if we go that route. You know, we're trying to maintain instead right. of, you know, change things a lot. So they said if we go at it, you know, try to work with the maintenance permit. Do they help out with the cost of that or is that all our own cost? I can certainly check. Okay. Okay. And then just looking at the funds on the back page or the reverse <coughs> page of uh, our side of paper here. Uh, Unfortunately, a lot of our projects are all on the north side of the highway, not the south side, um, where we have our larger trust fund. Yeah, that's um, unfortunate. Well, in we do need to look at that too. we do need to look at using those um, funds at some point because they are uh, they do have a time restriction on them, given that they're impact fee fund mm -hmm. impact fees. So. Um, we should, I mean, this is not for this per se, but we should look at what's next for White Camp Park mm -hmm. and look at uh, that as a, as a project for this year or next year, over the next two years. Um, I don't think that's necessarily for capital uh, budget requests, but we should look yeah, at it. Yeah, we still have to put it on here because what he, yeah, okay. cause he did say that he'll just, he'll identify some of the funding options or sources once okay. we get the list kind of in order. I mean, I know we want to focus on um, these other, some of these other projects, but we should be looking at mm -hmm. what's next for White Camp, and maybe it's not this year, maybe it's next year that we mm -hmm. do that, but we should still uh, identify those couple, next couple of projects out there. Mm -hmm. So, any questions on the... Uh, well, actually, as far as White Camp, Tom, do we, do we need any more trails up there, or...? Sure, I mean, we could certainly, maybe we should, uh, you know, visit the you know the conceptual plan and look at that and see what you know where we want to go with everything and see if there's any other structures or more benches along these trails and things like that but absolutely we 
we have a lot of area to work with and mm -hmm. uh, gosh the people that go up there I mean they love those trails up there and, and it's such a view and mm -hmm. I think even up by the water tower and uh, up in that area we could certainly make more trails. Is there a lot of sledding going on up there in the winter? Are kids sledding up there? Yep. Okay. Yep. Good. Had we well, talked about ice skating up there? We had. We did, and we also thought about maybe even having the ability to incorporate the shelter into a warming facility. <coughs> so yeah, if that you know, it's, that's a good way to use up some money pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Well, let's look at that uh, conceptual plan next month. Good idea. And, uh, we can identify uh, the next phase out there that we want to tackle. So, but obviously, you know, we do have a lot on the plate here, and I guess we'll have to see with the city council um, if they will uh, appropriate some of these funds for uh, a couple of these projects. Then we'll go from we'll have to go from mm -hmm. there at that point once we have some funding identified. Paul, you mentioned that you know the funds that are in that trust fund B. What is the limitation of the time? Do you know, Deb? Or, and then do we have any flexibility at all to use that in some of the other parks? Uh, my understanding is it's got to be just south of 94. Um, so that, that would be Meadows Park and mm -hmm. Anderson okay. Park and Wycamp Park. Uh, um, the timeline, I'm not sure. I, I think we're, we might be in decent shape because that amount of money seems to be about the same. So obviously we're, where we have growth is that part of the right. city. Um, so um, I, we'll have to talk to Neil about mm -hmm. that sure. and find out what kind of a timeline we're on. Um, I'm sure we have, we have a, some time, but we just need to be cognizant of the fact that that both uh, trust fund A and B have some restrictions to them. There's, only, there's just shy of 15,000 in the uh, <coughs> trust fund A, which can yeah. be easily used for yeah. um, some of these other projects here. Tom, can I ask you a question? How, how would you feel about skating up, up there versus at, at Burton right now, you know, up at White Camp? What's your thoughts on that? Having skating up at White Camp. Have, a, have them in both locations? Mm, maybe in either or in this scenario. I don't know. I mean, that goes against the grain with what we what we planned on Burton. But, I mean, the money is available to do, do it right up there <clears throat> right now. Um, I think if, if you took the one out of Burton, I think you'd have a lot of unhappy People, I mean, Burton Field is kind of a neighborhood park, and I know. Uh, um, although, if you had another one up there, I think you know. I don't know how it, it certainly could be a trial run or uh, see how it was being used. It, it's certainly going to add to the. There's going to be some labor involved because it takes a while to right. build up the rinks and um, I think maintenance on them. Let's discuss that next month. Yeah, mm -hmm. what you're getting at though is that. We had the money to, to probably convert that shelter into the warming house that we kind of planned on. Mm -hmm. So, for a sliding hill and a skating rink. Right. You bet. Mm -hmm. Thing of it is, if We've we have an area there. at White Camp Park that's leveler than Burton Field, I mean, if you ever look down at Burton Field, we have to, it's such a great, you know, slope on the field itself. We have to build as much ice up before it levels off. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you had a fairly flat graded area, you know, you could have ice in probably short time. I mean, um, also, it's, what's nice about? Oh, I'm sorry, Ron. Go ahead. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, I think one of your comments was, you know, I don't know if you said tough sledding, <coughs> but you know, to get the funding to do what we want to do at Burton, you know, but it may not happen. <coughs> so, it may take some time. It's right. Be, we have to be creative, and I don't know if there's grants that we should be looking at or donations or. Well, it's nice too that as when the time comes to redo Burton, we mm -hmm. we may lose a season of of uh, the hockey or ice ice rink or the skating rink. So mm -hmm. if we have if we have White Camp going, then we've got at least uh, another facility where people can skate because because the skating rink is used a lot. So this year it was. We had a really good year this year. Yeah, right. normal winter. Right. So. 
But yeah, let's put that on the agenda for next month and, and uh, talk about that. Is there anything else on the uh, budget request that you see with <coughs> any questions? Okay. Uh, item 11, project update for parks projects. Tom? Uh, one thing that we really need to get going on, uh, and we have started, we'd like to get the automatic locks. We have some funding uh, set aside for that. Uh, we've got some specifications uh, already in place. We have talked, to, I've talked to a couple of vendors. We just have to finalize the, and get things uh, bid out. So I'd like to get that done prior to the park season. Mm -hmm. Uh, otherwise, we're just, uh, you know, the skating rinks have closed down. Uh, people are still using the sliding hill a lot up on uh, Vine Street. Uh, we're doing uh, picnic table maintenance and things like that, and uh, pretty much we're using uh, everyone I have for filling potholes. So, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of potholes. So, yeah, we're utilizing the park people for doing that. So. Anything for Tom? Anyone? Any questions? Okay. I'm just glad you f you're filling the one that I hit yesterday. I saw the crew on it my way back from lunch today. It's like, all right. <laughs> it, it's, it's ongoing. Boy, oh boy. And you do it one and one day, and it's something that pops out overnight, it seems like. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, finally, uh, any other business for information purposes only for upcoming agendas? Do we want to meet at White Camp? Park, or we had talked about that mm -hmm. last fall, didn't we? We and did. And yeah. Pulled that out. Maybe we could look at the trails or talk about well, what, what that looks like in May. Probably May mm -hmm. would be better. I think April we should look at, let's look at the plans inside while it's still a little cooler out, and then maybe May <laughs> would be a good idea to uh, do a field trip out there. Sounds for a good. Meeting. Just an, on another item for. Uh, not, wouldn't be under project update, but just for informational purposes. Uh, Urban Forestry Board is planning uh, Arbor Day, uh, which is the last Saturday in April. Is it like the 27th? Yep. Yep. 27th. 27th. Uh, this year we're going to have it at Prospect Park. Um, hopefully we'll have our, maybe we'll have our little shelter in place and then we can plant, a, you know, maybe we'll have some trees to plant by it or something. So. Uh, anyway, that's where Arbor Day will be held this year. Last year was um, White Camp Park. We've had it in Lakefront Park. So uh, we hope to have a, some nice weather. It's rained every, every year since we started having the event. So. <laughs> and what's the date on that again, Tom? April 27th. April 27th. Prospect Park, and I think it usually starts uh, mid-morning, 9, 10 o'clock, I guess. Okay. Anything else? Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. And the second? Second. By Kurt. And thank you very much. <laughs>